Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of Quasic Function. Today we're going to be covering toggle. So uh, let's get on with it. It's uh, pretty straightforward, but you can make mistakes when editing in your own files. So uh, I'm go over it. So, so everything looks normal, just like in the first video, except you'll notice a bunch of toggles. I set those at example so I can teach you what it does. Alright, here we go. So, for starting from line 22, which is L1, all the way to square, which is line 30, they're all toggles. So what it does is, when I activate it with a certain button, it stays on forever. Or until I shut it off manually by sipping on or puffing the same command that I applied it to. So if you look at line 22, it says left 1, it's a left sip. It stays on, toggled. And nothing can turn it off unless I put a force up, but I'll get onto that in a little bit. So the only way to turn it off is sipping, or well, left sip it, because that's exactly what I put it onto. So I want to show you what it looks like when I toggle everything. So I just toggled all the buttons I could possibly do on this sheet. And to turn it off can be troublesome because sometimes you forget what you have on what you don't have on, especially if you're going up and down modes. So instead of going one by one, turning each of them on, see, I can't even do it myself. I, I like to set something called force off and we're gonna cut through the force off video real quick as a teaser force off is basically a reset button that will turn everything off and start anew when you reactivate it uh, force off is basically is when the input activates it will force out the output off no matter what this is used to allow one input to force off an output that was turned on in an earlier point. And uh, there's a little bit more to it because I edited it. I have to I have to edit it. But basically is if I turn on all my buttons and I apply it to my force off, like you can see in my files, I put a uh, left one force off by this button, it would automatically turn it off. The only things that force off does not affect is constant in a later video I'll mention it uh, less than greater than and I believe I believe they are the layoff but when I get to those I will re-mention it and correct myself but in the meantime focus that it turns off toggle it's able to turn off toggle alright back to the other video alright welcome back from the short break uh, anyway what I was saying is since I have all these toggled line 22 to 30 all right, and these are the only things that turn it off. I set it to where right sip, which is a side tube, and right puff would turn these off. And those, the okay, and those buttons uh, are increment mode and de-increment mode, which means every time I switch modes, it will turn everything off. That's my safety. Uh, mechanism or feature that I like to put on there because like I said I forget what I have on what I don't have on especially when I'm trying to do something quick it's always good to have backup so I notice here let me turn everything on so that's everything I toggled on my file or mode so if everything's correct if I were to sip or puff the right tube, the side tube, as in go up and down in modes, it should essentially turn everything off. And it has. And if I go back to the same mode, everything stays off. It's like it's a reset button. So let me try it again. This time I'm going to puff it, not sip it. And 
there you go. I went back to the same mode and it turned everything off. All right, so the next thing is, what else can you do with it? Well, what I like to do, I put mouse here and I'll explain why, just because I don't want it to make conflicts. So here's Strafe. Let's say you're playing Call of Duty, and just because that's the only game I'm kind of, kind of good at. And I want to be able to aim. I'm walking left to right, strafing. But I want to be able to aim and then move my head control of the character. So what I would do would be L2, which is a left trigger, that will toggle it. And since I can't move my head, since line 14 to 17 move the character, and I have I need a new mode for this. What I would love to do is make a little separate thing underneath it. I would go to increment mode. Whoa. I would copy it right there get the same function I use a uh, command I use for aiming and paste it so what I have just what I have so what I have done is when I when I go to aim which is uh, hold up so essentially what I done is when I go to aim with the lip it would aim and also switch modes at the same time but then how would you keep it toggled for it to aim constantly until you click it again what you do go to the next mode over since I put one increment mode and it only happens when I click the lip button go to aim find the same button I use for aiming and I would have to toggle it just like so and so I can get back to the mode I came from, which is strafe, right here on the bottom. I would make a new line also. But instead of increment mode, I would put de-increment so I can backtrack and make sure to switch the command. So. you also put the lip function so what this does let me go back to strafe everything is resetted you go to aim with the lip button it would switch modes where you're able to control the head it'll stay toggled because it was toggled in the previous mode and then when you go to to go to cancel the aim you would click the lip button again it's like an on and off switch and it'll take you back to the previous mode you've been to I will show you a video what that looks like but let me show you the button layout on the right okay so let's say I start in mode 3 because that's where strafe is and I'm going to go aim so right now I can move the left analog stick with the mouse with the mouse piece of the quad stick so once I click the lib button, it would aim, but it also went up one mode. So now I moved up to mode four, which is aim for my, in my case. So it stays toggled, but if you notice, instead of moving the left analog stick, I'm moving the right since I'm in a whole different mode. And if you look on the line 18, that's me moving the right joystick. So it does come in handy if you know how to use or if you customize it right I don't personally use this because I learned to do without just because it's a hassle of switching back and forth constantly even if it had mixed analog stick but to each their own this is what it looks like on the gameplay
All right, and uh, to switch back, like I mentioned, just click the lib button again if you're on the aim mode. It'll take you back to strafe mode or the previous mode. And now I can move the analog stick on the left one, not the right. So that's a uh, that's how we ca I like to call it a uh, mode sharing, or you know what you can come up with a better name. I don't know, but I also have precautions for this. So let's start with strafe. Like I said, be careful about mistakes. So what I like to do to prevent mistakes, especially sipping and puffing and forgetting what mode I'm in, I go to the top and I make a one-way access point. What I mean by that is I only want to get to the aiming part one way only with the lip function, nothing else. So what I do, I go to increment, copy it, and reapply it. So essentially what I'm doing is if I would like to get to a, if I'm in strafe and I were to right sip the tube on the right side of the quad stick, I would essentially skip the next mode which is aim and jump go straight to gameplay and there's only one way to get to aim by using the lip function because there's an increment mode right there also to prevent confusion with toggle when I switch modes by accident with the right sip because I forget always make sure to uh, force off whatever you've done. So what I like to do is copy I always like to create force offs as a backup before I make a big mistake. something like this. It turns off when I increment mode but it doesn't turn off when I click the lip function. Same for uh, for aim. So to go to aim, so to go to aim and I paste it right here, back up if it's on and I were to switch modes from here this one I don't add an extra increment mode instead I add the extra de-increment mode right here like I said I like to make a one-way access point so instead of going from gameplay to aim I go from gameplay to strafe just by adding a de-increment mode There you go. And that's basically it. Gameplay mode is my file for Black Ops. Yeah, I've got a bunch of force offs, so I make sure I don't cause any mistakes. Comes in handy when you need it the most. Other than that, toggle is similar to delay latch, and I will cover that soon. Uh, other than that, uh, I know it's a long video, but thanks for watching. Have any questions? Leave a comment. Stuff. Okay, I forgot to mention, but I'm going to put it at the end of each video. Make sure when you're done making your script, you first go to Tools, Script Editor. I know I mentioned this before, but I'm going to engrave it in your schools. Resources, Libraries. Make sure you're always up to date with your uh, firmware, but at the same time, always be wary. You know. Sometimes it can be a test in progress. So I'll make sure it's on 41 or newest version. Click run just in case. Give it time for the computer to catch up. Close it. 
refresh your own script save it give it time happy trails